I'm the only one that was immune to the zombie plague. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Le Project Zomboid. Yes, I'm going to uh, do some more work on my fishing hut today. I also need to find a way to get my carpentry up, so uh, it might be wise to to work on this fence that uh, I've started constructing near the town hall. But obviously we'll need to, to run some stuff in and out. Foraging for beginners, what the fuck? I read all of this. Here, put on floor. Put on floor, I don't need apples for breakfast. Mmm. And uh, there's a couple people wandering around in here. You're not supposed to be in here. That's, that's alright. I don't really give a shit, honestly. <laughs> I'm not gonna get myself into unnecessary trouble. That's a bad idea, right there. I will go ahead and chop some, uh, some more trees down over here. Hopefully I don't find some friends. Just some early... Oh my god. A real murderous scream. I don't like that at all. That's okay. These things happen sometimes. You know? Alright, plenty of room in the big bag for logs. And doesn't put me overweight either, so that's gonna be real nice. And I still have, uh, many nails. Let's see, do I need to get them out of the bag? I think so. And that's gonna put me overweight. No, it won't. Awesome. They're lighter than I thought. And I finished up these windows here. I guess I should start to work on the, uh, other side. That seems about where I left off. So we'll go ahead and saw these up. Hopefully no, uh, no zombies heard that fucking woman being brutally murdered. <laughs> oh my god. Really was terrible, wasn't it? I don't understand. Here, yeah, we'll, uh, slap some barricades on this here. Hopefully don't break my back. I always get really nervous when the, the Moodle goes up to extremely heavy load. Extremely heavy load in my pants! Ha ha ha. Oh, that's clever. That's really nice. I also need to check what it's going to take to uh, get my carpentry up where it needs to be. It's relatively close. I can do it. I know I can do it. But, um, uh-oh. Don't unbarricade that. Gonna need some more. Some more goodies. Uh, equip primary. Equip secondary. It's gonna take a long time to get there, uh, just doing fucking barricading windows. I should start building some walls and things like that if I really want to get the show on the road. I guess there's no rush, but um, it might be nice. Might be kind of nice. I'm out here, alright? I ain't scared of no zombie, alright? Who are you gonna call? Zombie busters. That's what they call me. Well, there's nobody out here to call me that, but if they were here, oh, you bet they'd call me that. Surely. Hmm, I should break down some more doors in here so I could make a, a door for my fishing shack. I think that would be quite a nice thing, but I will finish the barricades, go along the wall as I should, and, uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like there's, there's too many zombies out here. There were the couple in the uh, bakery across the street, but I don't think they're headed over here anytime soon. Even though I am knocking away on these barricades. That's four, okay. We should be able to do one more window and then another plank on that window. Very good. It goes faster than I think, especially when we have so many nails and uh, all the accoutrement. Wonderful. So, uh, oh, we could probably do one more, that's right. Damn it. Premature. A little premature there. Alright. Now I'll get this in my hand. Get that in my other hand. And a little more. A little more tree action. Here, I'll get this tree. I did get some, some logs over there, which is fine. But I need this tree now. Come along! You're gonna have a nice new home attached to the side of a building. This is completely normal. 
Please nobody question it. Thank you so much. And uh, obviously my exertion getting a little high as per usual. That's all right. We'll saw up these logs and uh, hopefully that'll be about all we need for this side of the building. I am gonna cram something in front of this door, build a little wall or something. So we don't have to worry about zombies getting into the building unless they enter through that one uh, hole. Or there's also a bunch of holes on the other side. Really, I'm only doing this to get my fucking, uh, my carpentry up a little more. So let's uh, barricade ourselves inside here. Why not? Why not? I'll give you a lot of reasons why not, but apparently I didn't listen to any of them. <laughs> So there we are. Alright. Should I sit? Have a little rest? Just a little rest. And there. My exertion is gone. It's like magic. There are definitely a lot of doors in here. That I could start breaking down. Hmm. Anybody in here? I should probably equip my aluminum bat. Since that is what I have my uh, my proficiencies in. And look at all this. Five windows on this side. That doesn't seem too bad. Let's go ahead and remove the broken glass here. Since I can't go out that door. I have it all blocked off. <laughs> That's so funny. And I need enough uh, door hinges and doorknobs to make two doors. One for the fishing shack and one for that right there. So I guess I should grab my sledgehammer and uh, also grab something to eat. Actually, no, I got these apple slices. Mmm, apple. That's nice. A little snacky. This is my snack pack. So much fucking... Oh my god. So many watering cans on the floor. I've also let these uh, bait fish go bad. Ten of them. I wonder if I could still use them for bait if they go bad. Is that, is that possible? I'm not sure. Hmm. And of course, I misplaced my fucking sledgehammer. No good. And that's no good. <laughs> hmm. Rotten sour cream. Yeah, I don't know how that ended up in there. Whoopsie doops. Hmm. Is it on this shelf over here somewheres? Nope, nope. Not looking good. Where the hell did I put my sledgehammer? That's all I want to know. It's an extra axe. I guess I could axe down the doors, but... I think it is easier with a sledgehammer. I don't know. I have an axe in my inventory. I don't feel like looking for the sledgehammer all fucking day, so... We will make do with what we have. That is for foreshoredly. So I'll see what happens. How how horrible it is to break down a door with an axe. Probably not even that bad. I'm probably uh, overthinking it. That's right. Do I have a sheet I could hang on there? I should probably grab a sheet to hang on there. Mm-hmm. That would be a wise choice. Chop the door down. Does it have to be closed? All right. There we go. I mean, it is an axe. It should... Yeah. It does relatively well. Door hinge and doorknob. And also a couple of planks, which I'll slap up on the windows. Because we're here, so why not? And I think it should help out with my carpentry just a little more. Oh god, they can't be in the, uh... In the fucking bag. So pack them and unpack them. That, that makes a lot of sense. Good plan. Good plan! I like that a lot. Wonderful work. <laughs> I think there's probably even more building, or even more windows than just these five, but for now, this is, this is what we're doing. It's gonna be alright. Just want to make sure that I use it up. Use it up real nice. So, we'll switch those back around. And another door. This actually might be better than the fucking sledgehammer. 
Sledgehammer takes a lot of endurance to use. I go to like maximum every single time I tried to use one. So this this ain't too bad. I think it does give me slightly less resources and things from the doors from what I'm seeing here. But not terrible. Not the worst I've ever seen. Fishing for beginners, foraging for intermediates. Hmm. Nothing here for me, I don't think. Nope, nope. Cigarettes, don't even smoke that shit no more. It's bad for you. You see? And then they've got some more uh, doors back here, which I probably don't want to knock down. Hmm. Let's try this one. I just need another door hinge, if you'd be so kind. I'm glad there's nobody in here. There's my other door hinge. We've got a shit ton of doorknobs now. More than I could possibly need, to be quite honest. But uh, that ain't too bad. I was going to knock down those other doors, but uh, my, my stamina am going away, unfortunately. Oh my god. Why, why am I character freaking out now? Hello? That was super fucking strange. I had to restart the entire program because my character uh, insisted on walking into a wall for some strange reason. I don't know. I don't really give a shit either. Everything's fine now. Thank you for asking. So I'll finish up the barricades on this, this window. And uh, it seems, yeah, I'm a little overburdened now. That's okay. Get that doctor's bag back in my hand, it should fix it right up, right? Yeah. And I've got two door hinges, so I'll get those out. And one door knob I will unpack. Okay, we could unpack them all too, that, that's just fine. What the fuck? <laughs> Here's where I need to be. Oh shit, I think I need some more planks too. Is there a, a tree with an easy access? I sure hope so. Probably around the back here. Yeah. Plenty of them. I haven't clear cut this part of the map quite yet. Which, uh, kind of makes me sad because I was doing quite some running earlier to get logs and shit. But it's gonna be just fine. We're lovely. Lovely jubbly. Oh my. I think that was me rustling the, the bushes there. <laughs> I hope it was me. What the fuck? Alright, saw up these logs. And we'll get this door built. I think that's the pallet from the pallet of lumber that I had. Everything looks pretty clear over here. Which is a good thing. I will make that wooden door. It's looking nice. It's looking real good. Real good now. Alright. Um, I'm out of apples. No, not quite. A little snacky. Snack pack! Should I barricade this as well? I do have a couple of planks left. I think that could help me out. I don't know why. Because why not? That's why. I really do need some more, uh, some more door hinges. So I think that's what I'll do. I'm gonna go ahead and get in the uh, seahorse coffee. I could just break the door. That would be fine. Would it not? Hello? Anybody in here? Nope. Everything's okay in here. So I'll break the door off. And I need to watch my, uh, my fatigue. It is going up quite a little bit. But that's alright. It's gonna be a quick one, I promise. It looks like two door hinges fell off of that one. But I'll still try and get some more. There we go. Lots of door hinges, plenty of planks as well. Um, yeah, I'm not so interested in the planks, but I guess I'll take them. I'll find a use for them at some point. What does it take to build a wood door? Four planks. So I technically need one more. I think, I think you think. And I could just knock on uh, another door. That would be fun, huh? Actually, first I should, I should rest up just a little bit. 
Get rid of this fucking fatigue. And, uh, yeah, I think my fishing shack is ready for a door, if I recall correctly. Come on, fatigue, go away faster. Alright, now we are hungry again. Is there a snack here? Of course not. Oh, there's cupcakes. Cupcakes don't go bad, but cakes do. If you put the cake in a cup, everything is fine. Did you not know that? I didn't either. I'm quite shocked, to be completely honest. And this axe is lo losing a lot of durability, but uh, I don't really give a shit. You want me to be honest? I'm not going to break the outside doors off. I will break the inside doors. Hopefully I can get some more door hinges. But uh, really it's just for the plank. Nope. No fucking door hinges there. That's alright. No problem. I can find a use for every plank. Slap it on the outside of the uh, of the town hall there. But uh, yeah, we'll save that for later. Right now I want to bolt up here and finish up my, my fishing shack. Let's see if I have enough carpentry skill. No, it's it's not moved at all. I've got like a hundred carpentry skill this episode, which is fucking pathetic. Ugh. And then sprinting is uh not leveling up so fast either. I don't like it. It's a bullshit. It don't make me happy, happy long. That's all right. We're gonna live. That's the important thing. I really wonder uh, how this game would be with some other survivors. You'd probably just get shot and killed in PvP extremely quickly. But, um, yeah. It might add to the realism. Right now I just kind of have to imagine that I'm, I'm the lone survivor. I'm the only one that was immune to the zombie plague. Or some shit like that. I think this is where my uh, fishing shack was. And now we're getting a little overburdened. Just a little. Hello, fishing shack. Lovely to see you. And, uh, I don't know if I need to place pillars on those those parts that are not covered, like the corners. I don't know how it works. I'm so unsure. That's alright. Unpack all these fucking planks. We've got one extra door hinge. And uh, a shit ton of extra door knobs. I guess door hinges are the rarity in these parts. That's just fine. What do I need to make a wood pillar? Needs two planks, three nails, two carpentry. Oh. Oh. Should I build that there? I don't guess it matters. Here, slap this door on first. Slap the door on, moron. Heh <laughs> heh. That rhymes. Or something. I don't... I don't fucking know. Um, do we have more planks? Not many. But I do want to, uh, put some more flooring down. Slap some pillars on the corners. Because I think zombies can see inside if you don't have pillars. And I don't want to be spotted in there. That will not be good. I'll throw these in the, uh, the medical bag. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Screwdriver, you can go. Kitchen knife, you can go. Hammer, I need. Nails, I need. Alright. Continue the chopping! Infinite chopping! Unfortunately, I didn't bring my, uh... My baggy bag. Or my fishing ra fishing rod. I brought all of my baggy bags, but I didn't bring my fishing rod, which is something that I desperately need if I'm to go uh, loot out my fishing traps. I think they lose durability every time you uh, you check them, so if I check them less, they should last longer. That sounds right to me. There we go. Cover this bit. Um... I think there's another corner here, maybe? Sounds good. I hope this is adding some carpentry skill. I sincerely do. We got enough to do one more, I think. Um, there-ish? Maybe? 
Hello? I guess I can't. Wood pillar. Come on. You can do it. Daddy, won't you do it? Nope. Not going to do. No pillar today. I hate to put these planks away. Just because uh, I know it's going to take me a minute to, to unpack them. But that's okay. It be what it be. My uh, fatigue is going up just a little bit. Hmm. I don't like it. Got to keep an eye on that. Oh, and I should also probably equip my bat. So I'm not trying to beat people up with the uh, the weapon. It doesn't do shit. Alright, now I'm in here. Little rest. Thank you so much for the use of your house. There. Fatigue all gone! Hooray! I would really like to find that cookbook. My cooking is no longer getting a boost. That That's the craziest part about Project Zomboid. I think that I have a book somewhere, but I can't fucking recall where it is. It's a mystery to me. Huh. Down, bitch. That's right. Get him good. Get him good. Can't hide from me. I hear some knocking in here. I don't like how small this house is. It make me nervous. Okay. I guess everything's fine. Advanced carpentry. Got it. Carpentry for beginners. Got it. Expert cooking. Seven to eight. That's not what I'm at. I want intermediate cooking. I think. Something like that. Don't make much sense to me. Let's eat a cherry. Mmm. Wonderful. I'll also eat a cucumber. And the herring makes me bored. I'm not going to eat the uncooked herring. Just uh, a little hunger boost is all I need. Why nervous? Don't be nervous. Killed like 500 of these fucking things. Until it gets really real, I don't want to hear it. And at least, uh, I'm a little more sneaky now, too. So I can creep up on these dudes. This neighborhood's, uh, filling up nicely. Two or three standing out on the streets. God damn! Why don't y'all go home? I should go home. It's almost seven o'clock, which means it's gonna get dark soon. And Dayton don't like the dark. No, sir. There's so many just corpses strewn about the streets. Anybody in here? They just break out the windows and then fucking leave? How rude. Yeah, we killed 508 zombies. Fantastic. I think we're doing a really good thing around here, gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Got some more work to do on the fishing shack, but at least I got some doors built today. And, uh, that makes me feel good. I like that feeling a lot. We also learned that, uh, you don't really need a sledgehammer, necessarily. <laughs> Shit's kind of overrated, if you want me to be real honest. Maybe I could find that wood glue. There's a couple. I do want to fix this axe. Two wood glue. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. That's looking pretty good. A little more? Mm, I guess I guess that'll work. Took it from two points up to three. Could we do could we do just just a tiny bit more? Potentially repairs twenty five percent. That's that's nice. Okay. So one of my wood glues was emptied, but I still have one more. So that's nice. I wish I could find that cooking for intermediates. Intermediate cooking? Whatever it's called. I, I really thought that I had one. Oh, I also decided that uh, we need to uh, conserve all the shotgun ammo. I'm going to use, yeah, BB gun. That's nice. 
I'm gonna use crappy stuff like this to try and level my aiming skill, and then we should be able to take out many, many uh, zombies with the with the shotgun. And I actually didn't go out back today. This shitty fence still makes me nervous. I might want to reinforce it at some point, but uh, when the zombies start to knock it down, then it'll get reinforced, won't it? That makes sense to me. In bloom potatoes. Oh, potatoes. Come with me. We got 13 potatoes from that. Holy tits. That, that's, that's filling. I guess I'll eat those. And a lot of these uh, crops are in bloom now. They're probably going to get eaten. Um, in bloom strawberry plant. It's fully grown, but I still can't seem to harvest it. Do I need to stand closer? I can't stand any closer. Don't you understand? Ah, I hate it. That's quite frustrating. I don't like it. It's a bullshit. There's some broccoli out here. So yeah, I've got plenty of uh, plenty of goodies growing out in the garden. I don't know if it'll keep growing if I don't pull it up. I really hope that it does because uh, I don't think it's a great idea to, to pull it up. I don't have room in my fridges at the moment. Unless there's a fridge over at the police station. That is quite possible. Put a potato on this trap. That'll do nicely. And there's a shit ton of strawberry seeds in there. Good to uh, make a note of that. There's obviously no refrigerator in the, uh, the shitty building there. But I think there might be one in here somewheres. Hmm. Microwave. I don't know. I suppose not. That really sucks. But there is, uh, some water in here for when the, the pipes end up shutting off. This is the, the jail cells back here. Alright, fine. Whatever. I'll just eat some more raw potatoes. <laughs> this is normal. Mmm. I like raw potato. Starchy goodness for Dayton. And I guess that's uh, all the errands that I could run. I could stick some... Some potatoes and vegetables in the... Uh, the bank fridge, but I think that it's that the power is going to shut off relatively soon. I'm not feeling too secure about my stuff. Um, maybe I should get a second generator and hook it up. That might be a good idea, but then we're also doubling the amount of gas that is to be used. Quite a quandary indeed, and now I am tired, so I will go to bed. Thank you so much for watching, friends. If you did enjoy this episode, I hope that you will like, comment, and or subscribe. And if you do, friends, I will send you a bottle cap. It can be used as currency, though not in this game in particular. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please join me for the next time. And until then, friends, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.